Hi viewers. So today we will begin drawing 3D objects. We will start off with this object. So now we have to open a new file. Actually a 3D file. So click on file. Click on new. Click on ACAD ISO 3D. Because the file is ISO, we can check the units will be millimeters. So write U and enter. And we can see that the units have been selected as millimeter. Click on OK. Now for drawing 3D objects, we have to turn on these icons in front of us for easiness. So we have to right click over here, click on a kid, and we have to turn on these menus such as draw, layers, modeling, modify, orbit, properties, standard, UCS2, view, and visual style. So here we can switch between the 2D wireframe and conceptual view. In the UCS2, we have to define in which view we will be drawing objects. With these view icons, we can go to a specific view just by one click. And these are the modeling or 3D commands we will be using extrude, press pull, sweep, revolve and loft. Similarly, we will also be using union, subtract and intersect. So now for this drawing, we have to first plan our drawing. So we can see that. First we have to draw this base with a rectangle of 96 by 64 and we have to draw this slot and this will be in the top view right. Then in the right side view we have to draw this filleted rectangle and then in the front view we have to draw this object and this triangle. We will be using union as well. Now let us go to the top view click on LWT to turn it on. Now click on rectangle click anywhere give the dimensions of 96 tab 64 enter so now the rectangle has been formed we can see that on the shortest side we have to draw this slot and the dimensions are given so click on line bring the cursor over this endpoint move in the negative direction and write the value of minus 16 enter then in the negative x direction write the value of 20 enter enter to get out of the command click on offset the offset distance should be 16 enter Click on this object, click above, press escape. Now we have to draw a circle with the help of two point circle. So 2P enter, click on this endpoint and then click on this endpoint. We have to use trimming now. So TR enter enter, click over here and then on this line segment as well. So the base is complete now. Click on SE isometric. Now we have to utilize this press pull option. So click on press pull. Bring the cursor over this region and we can see dotted line which shows that this area can be press pulled. So if you click, we can give the thickness. So give the thickness of 16, press enter. So now in the UCS option, we can see that we are in the top view. So whatever we draw, it will be in the top view. Now we have to select the right side view. So click on UCS2, click on right. Now here we have to draw a rectangle starting from this corner. And now we have to give the dimensions. So in this view, we can see that in the first box, we have to give the value of 64 tab. And in the second, we have to give the value of 48. Although this total height is 64, we have already given the thickness of 16. So we are left with 48. So now we have to perform filleting. Click on this fillet icon. Radius is 0. So we have to set the radius as 48. R enter. 48 enter click on this vertical line click on this horizontal line fillet has been performed now we have to click on press pull bring the cursor over here and we can see that no dotted line has been formed so that means press pull cannot be used here so click we can see that no action has taken place and also zero regions created so now we have to use extrude command because this object is made with the rectangle command initially so it acts like a polyline and we don't have to perform the region operation first. So we will directly click on extrude and now we can give the thickness. The thickness will be 16 enter. Now we have to place it correctly. Click on this object, write M enter, zoom in, click on this corner and then click on this corner and this object has been rightly placed. Now we have to join them. For that we have to use the union command. So click on union, click on this object, click on this object, 
press enter so now they can be selected with one click now we can move them in order to see if there are extra material so press m enter click anywhere and move aside we can see that these objects are extra so we have to click and select them and then press delete now in the front view we have to draw this object so in the UCS option we have to click on the front view now we have to draw this object with the help of line command so click on line icon zoom in click on this corner move in the positive y direction as specified by this coordinate system when we see the tracking line then we have to write the value so now we have to write 28 enter in the positive x direction we have to give the length of 8 enter 24 enter and then 8 enter again similarly in the negative y direction we can give the value of 28 enter and then we want to close this object by pressing c enter click on this object press m enter click anywhere and then move this we can see that the object has been formed click on this line and remove this by pressing delete we have to draw a circle now so click on circle we have to draw a two point circle so 2p enter click on this endpoint and on this endpoint as well now we have to use trim command so tr enter enter click on the upper portion now let us click on press pull icon bring the cursor within this region and click we can see that no region is created so we have to first create a region so for that reg enter click and then select these objects six found press enter we can see that one region created and here we can visualize that a paper shape has been given to this boundary initially it was just a 2d wireframe now we can use the extrude command click on extrude click on this object press enter and now we can give the thickness here we can see that the total width is 64 the gap is 22 so we are left with 42 so we have to write 42 enter now we have to visualize this in 3d for that we have to press shift control and mouse wheel simultaneously we can see that we are in the orbit menu now and now we can move the cursor in order to visualize now in this view we can see this corner so we have to move this object click on this object press m enter select this corner as the base point now place this object over this corner click visualize it with the same shift control and mouse wheel simultaneous clicking we can see that the object is placed correctly but we can see a partition line which shows that these objects are not single entity so in order to join them we have to click on the union click on this object click on this object press enter and now we can see that the lines are gone again click on SCI isometric now we have to draw this triangle so click on polyline click on this corner click on this corner and this corner and we would want to close this object so write C enter now we can use press pull and we can see that press pull cannot be used here so we have to click on extrude option click on this object press enter give the thickness of 12 in this direction so 12 enter still we have to union them so click on union click on this object click on this object press enter click press m enter click and then move this object so we can see that no x objects are there now in order to visualize now we can see that this object resembles this object all we have to do is to perform dimensioning which will be performed in the next video if you have any question in these commands or any step that i performed you can always let me know in the comment section thank you for watching